Ah. Well, it's not just one of those brothers, but now, anyway. Uh, one of the things I'm thinking about lately is the new way. I don't know be the sermon in for uh, this week. As of uh, Finnegan's Wake, James Joyce puts a new way on in 1904. He shifted from the end of Pisces, and literally, when astronomers considered where the Earth was through the constellations, as the galaxy, or we move around, and the galaxy right in the outer rings. Anyway, it's, that's, uh, astrologers use it, I think mean, more, but I mean, that was the whole idea, is where we are against the backdrop of constellations. We moved into Aquarius. You know, this is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. What's the buzz? Tell me what's the happening? Hair, marvelous hair, and all that stuff. That probably even Donny Osmond's amazing, Joseph's amazing technical dream code, all part of that new Aeon stuff. Who started it? James Joyce wrote Finnegan's Wake to encapsulate the last Aeon. The whole book is meant to be uh, a kind of like a recovery. The new Aeon comes, what happens to the old Aeon? Well, who the hell knows? But the, uh, um, <coughs> with that, so Edgar Dan Crowley had his vision after doing his work in Never Mellon working. Is that the one you're seeing? Anyway, Holy Guardian Angel kind of thing. That happened, I was wrote the book of the law, three chapters, just, you know, writing down what he was told. Uh, one of his students, uh, Francis Cesar said, and it was Craig, Crowley writing it himself. He was his uh, secretary for about five years, so he would know, but on the other hand, there's a lot of stuff in that Crowley talked about or dealt with that weren't regular to him. The other thing he did, he kept tossing them away and rewriting them. On the uh, the OTO's uh, web page, they have three different. Um, they have they have the whole script, and there are pages that do look different from the rest. Like maybe this is one of them that was recovered, one of the copies staying on it, and others. Uh, they don't put the last part of it, which says on the concert, not Crowley. Uh, the adventure. There's also Dr. Tim Leary, uh, whom I had wonderful chance to correspond with a little bit. Sent me a couple of his books uh, signed. Uh, he thought himself in flashback to reincarnation of Crowley. Now, he was born before Crowley died, but Crowley's spirit or sparks, in a way, could have flown to any number of people. I've sometimes thought I got a lot of Crowley in me, too. Uh, same birthday and all that, October 12th. Um, very lot of parallels. I've read everything I can get of the stuff that's published. Um, Kenneth Grant and uh, Simmons had, had the rights to his diaries, but American OTL bought those out. Scully was bankrupt when he died, so the copyrights don't work. Hopefully all those diaries and stuff that had will start coming out. I highly recommend the Magical Diary of V666. Incredible book. Um, he's another one. Uh, Philip K. Dick, you know, a prophet, a messiah. I think somebody in the 1900s would have been. I would say the Beast is most likely the whole Hitler thing, although Himmler and the SS, if I understand, are really into like killing off the Semitic people and others, you know. Started with the mentally ill, of course. Uh, it seems to be fairly standard. So, uh, who's the prophet? And uh, who's the messiah? Hard to say. But it's interesting to consider. Bangor Nostal Church. Over now. No.